This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. Today, I will be speaking with the company, Spin Backup. I'm sitting down right now with Armand Argaronian, who is partner manager of the company. Thank you for joining me today. Pleasure to be here. All right, and I got a lot of great questions here from our tech team, so you ready to get started? Absolutely. Let's All right, it. let's do it. First question, how did the company get started? Um, so Svidmaka was founded in 2016 and um, uh, by our CEO, Dmitry. Mm -hmm. So the idea behind it was really one of his friends. Um, he had a big data loss disaster and oh, no. he obviously addressed Dmitry and he said, you know, can you help me out in any way possible? I'll give you like anything. And uh, obviously he didn't have a backup solution, so there's nothing mm -hmm. you could do. But then kind of an idea clicked in Dmitry's head and... I go spin back up. <laughs> nice, nice. And uh, what would be the elevator pitch for spin back up? What exactly do you guys do? Perfect. So spin back up is a cloud cybersecurity and cloud to cloud backup company. Okay. So we basically protect organizations of all sizes, including SMBs, enterprises, educational organizations, against data leak and data loss disasters in the cloud. Mm -hmm. So um, we do this by obviously backing up the data to a secure cloud storage. Uh, but we also alert G Suite administrators of any potential data breach that happens or any data leak. So that's pretty much it. Very nice. Okay. And now I'm curious, what is your overall vision for the company and its value proposition in it? Great. So our vision for the company is to really automate um, you know, data loss and data leak in the cloud. So mm -hmm. we want to automate the process. We want to remove the human factor as much as possible because we think that this is the biggest risk that companies face, the human factor. So we want to do this by using machine learning algorithms and just fully automating the entire process. And this is what we've done so far. So it's working out great. Nice. Okay. And now, why do you think cloud security is becoming a greater concern, in your opinion? That's another great question. So um, cloud security, obviously, you know, today's administrators and you know, the IT guys, they're really understanding that this is a big concern. They're really yes. understanding that um, this is uh, a risk that they face. And they're more aware of it than ever before, uh, mm -hmm. especially if we have a look at the latest attacks that happened, like WannaCry, Petya. And, it's uh, huge. So, yeah, I mean, recently there was Equifax, right? I mean, not so mm -hmm. recent, but... It affected uh, everyone, though, yeah, yeah everybody. Everybody's affected, so um, you're getting more and more people aware of this, and uh, they're trying to implement a solution that really works. So. Very nice, okay. And now, as attackers continue to develop these new techniques, how does your team continuously advance to combat all these new threats out there? Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important to uh, stay up to date on everything that's going on. So with us, mm -hmm. we're obviously implementing the newest technologies, the newest solutions to really, uh, like you said, to combat these things. Mm -hmm. So with us um, in particular, we're implementing machine learning algorithms, we're implementing blockchain technology, we're getting into that. Nice. So really, as you can see, just staying up to date with everything and then providing the best solution possible for our customers. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy how important it is just to keep your software up to date. It makes a <laughs> yeah. world of a difference, too. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm wondering, how does your cloud access security broker work, and how is it different from other solutions out there on the market? Mm -hmm. So we're an uh, API-based CAS provider. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we obviously have a login that's going on, malware detection. Uh, we alert G Suite administrators, as I said, and then we're also implementing that blockchain single sign-on solution. Mm -hmm. Um, so the way that we're different on the market is because of our three core solutions that we provide. Uh, so first is going to be the automated ransomware protection. And that's basically where we uh, identify and block the source of an attack when you're hit by ransomware. Okay. And then we're going to identify the number of damaged files and we're going to run an automatic recovery process for all the encrypted files. Um, so again, this happens all automatically, it happens quickly and mm -hmm. it really helps out because um, uh, we stop the attack at a very early stage. So you wouldn't have to wait until all your files get encrypted uh, and then kind of go from there. Until it's too late, right? Yeah, exactly. So we stop it at another stage and we take care of it and just send you an alert saying, you know, um, you were hit by a ransomware attack, mm -hmm. don't worry, we took care of it. Okay. So, uh, the second thing um, is obviously the blockchain single sign-on, so we're still working on that. And we're going to use uh, cloud 
big cloud providers like Google, Microsoft, mm -hmm. as a user identity source. And we're going into the blockchain to create uh, certificates and to prevent the issuance of fake certificates. So that's how we're going to use the blockchain. Nice. And um, we're going to you know, create that single sign-off solution to have a password-free access to cloud data. Wow, that's incredible. Yep. And then uh, the final solution that we have mm -hmm. uh, that is currently implemented already is the Business Risky Apps Audit. And what that is, is we basically use our smart security scanner to identify uh, third-party apps connected to your G Suite account. Mm -hmm. And here we provide, um, again, we use machine learning algorithms to really provide more and more information about these apps and tell you why they may be risky and why you should have another look at them. Um, so really just more and more expertise. And we currently have over 10,000 apps in our database. Wow, that's huge. Yep. And then each app is reviewed twice, once by our smart algorithms and once again by our engineers to make sure we give you the most accurate information. Very nice. And now I'm wondering, where do you store the customer's data? A great question. So customer's data is stored at Amazon Web Services, S3 servers. Oh, okay. Yep. And we provide, we actually give the customers an ability to choose their own data centers. So um, they can choose from, you know, USA, Europe, mm -hmm. Australia, Asia. Very cool. Yep. So they can um, choose that. And then we're also, we just uh, create, I mean, we just signed a partnership with Google. So we're going to be implementing GCP. Nice. Google Congratulations. Cloud Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's, been, it's been great. I'm sure. And I'm wondering so, now uh, yep. how secure it's been back up in your opinion. Yeah. I mean, I get that asked all the time. <laughs> Um, so, obviously, um, uh, in terms of security, we're really divided into four sections, mm -hmm. right? So, first, uh, we're going to talk about encryption. You know? okay. And uh, encryption-wise, the data is encrypted both in transit and at rest when we start at Amazon. So, that's obviously very important. Mm -hmm. And we use 256-bit um, AES to securely okay. protect the data. Um, so, on the encryption side, everything's there. Um, next, we have compliances. Mm -hmm. So, Spin Backup is an advanced technology partner of Amazon. We are uh, compliant with GDPR, SOC 2, nice. okay. and Great. HIPAA. So, we have all the compliances in place as well. Um, then, we have um, two factor authentication, which is basically just that extra layer of, of protection that our clients are looking for. Mm -hmm. And the fourth one is OAuth 2.0. And we use that to make the communication between Google and Spin Backup very secure. Mm -hmm. And we also use it to make sure that we don't store any user credentials and user passwords. So that's the fourth thing when it really comes to security. Very nice. You guys have covered every sector, it seems like. Exactly. And <laughs> I was wondering if you can give me a scenario in which your solution was able to help protect customer data. Mm -hmm. So um, there's obviously a lot of cases where um, we do that. So mm -hmm. some of the common use cases, we have obviously accidental or purposeful data deletion that okay. happens. So you have an employee who doesn't know what they're really doing and they... Um, they just delete some data or something, Ugh. so you want to recover that. Right. And then you have employees who are trying to purposely harm the company, so they would also delete the data. So in both those cases, you would need a data loss recovery tool. Okay. Um, then when it goes to ransomware protection, this is actually a huge use case that we have. Mm -hmm. We actually had a hospital who came in, and they had a lot of employees, and they were hit by ransomware. Ugh. Yeah, so what happened is uh, they had to wait four days to get their data back. Wow. And they just put everything on hold during those four days, and it was just a terrible situation. Mm -hmm. So what we said is, uh, you know, if you had an automated ransomware recovery tool, uh, we would be able to stop the attack early on, you know, and the recovery process would take a couple of minutes instead of four days, right? Yeah. Um, so that was obviously one really huge use case where we helped onboard a customer. Yeah. Um, so that's for the data loss, and then for the cybersecurity side, you know, we obviously have data leaks that happen. Mm -hmm. So, say an employee is downloading some data, transferring some data. Um, so, as a company, as an organization, um, and especially as a G Suite admin, you would really want to be notified about what's going on. So, with our cybersecurity solution, you can go to the domain audit, apps audit, data audit, and you mm -hmm. can kind of see everything that's going on, what your employees are doing, wow. what apps are installed. Um, what items are shared with who. So full visibility. Right? Exactly, nice. exactly. So that's, you get full visibility of everything that's going on and you're able to kind of track whatever's uh, happening in your organization. So that's another big use case. Very nice, okay. And now speaking of customers, what does your customer base look like and who are some notable customers of yours? Great, so we currently work with over 2,000 organizations wow. worldwide. Yeah, and we have um, over 400,000 users 
over 500 terabytes of data backed up. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really, you know, big enough and we're still growing. Um, so that's great. Some of our notable customers on the educational side of things, we work with the University of Tokyo. Very we cool. work with Seattle Academy. So that's pretty cool. And um, in terms of enterprises, we work with iFlix, Donuts, mm -hmm. Receipt Bank. Uh, we're also in negotiations with some really big companies right now. So that's exciting as well. And uh, yeah, that's very nice. That's a it. huge range. And now I'm wondering, since your customers do range in size, how do you adjust your service to meet the needs of each organization? Great question. So what we do actually is, um, and we tell this to our customers as well, mm -hmm. we really look for suggestions from everybody, right? Because oh, okay. you have SMBs and they want their own things, right? Then you yeah. have enterprises and they want different things. Of so uh, what we did, and this is actually how we build the entire platform, right? We just listen to customer suggestions. Yeah. And um, that really helps us really build the platform. So we have, for example, a feature called sensitive data detection. Mm -hmm. And one of our enterprise customers really wanted that. And we just uh, automatically created a ticket. We really nice. that process. Yeah. And they were pretty happy with that. Um, so really, you know, to adjust to the needs of all the customers, you mm -hmm. would really need to listen to them. You would need to look at the reviews. And that's what we do. And we take that very seriously. Um, so we really look at the feedback that our customers give us and we look at the, you know, what the market says and we really create features based on that. Very nice. More companies should follow suit in that uh, <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> model. And uh, now I know you work as a partner manager. Who are some of your partners? Right. So we're obviously uh, very focused on you know, our partners and we really build a big reseller channel base as well. Mm -hmm. So in terms of our notable partners, we're a Google partner. We're also an advanced technology partner of Amazon. So that's great. Mm -hmm. um, but we also work very closely with reseller partners to get our sales. So we have over 120 of those. We work very closely with them, obviously. And um, some notable ones, we have Kicks on Tap, for example, from Australia. Nice. They're a big partner of ours. Um, and yeah, those are just some of the notable ones that we work with. Very cool. And now, what does the company roadmap look like for 2018? Perfect. So for 2018, we're really looking to implement and to extend our solution. Mm -hmm. So first, we want to finish the blockchain single sign-on for both G Suite and Office 365. Mm -hmm. We also want to implement a backup and cybersecurity solution for Office 365 as well. So right now, we're nice. on G Suite. We want to get that over there as well. Mm -hmm. And then maybe in 2019, we'll look to implementing Salesforce and et cetera. So those are really the two things that we're working on right now. And we also want to implement uh, biometric two-step verification Ooh. for blockchain single sign-on, which will be cool. You'll be able to you yes. know, look at your phone or you'll be able to you know, use your fingerprint scanner. So it'll be pretty cool to do Nice that. and fast, so, too. Exactly. Okay, cool. Looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, now in conclusion, why do you think people need spin backup? Great. So <laughs> this is another question that I get asked a lot. But, I'm sure. Uh, obviously, I mean, if you lose your data, right, what do you do in this case? So that's the most common thing I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, um, in the current world of IT and, uh, you know, technology all over the place, companies really, really need to protect their data. And um, that's what we tell them, you know, just to let, let us back up your data. Mm -hmm. Let us also tell you what's going on in your organization to prevent, uh, you know, data leaks, things like that. So really that one-two punch um, to really get that going and, and, and spin backup really provides all of that in one dashboard and that's the great thing so you have data loss on one side you have cybersecurity on the other mm -hmm. and um, it's all really companies need um, to have uh, you know protection in, in their organization so wonderful so. well thank you so much for sitting down with me today i'm looking forward to seeing uh, more from you guys in the future as thank well thank you thank you i really appreciate it absolutely and that's all the time we have for today so be sure to tune in next time for another episode of access point also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.